Richard Nixon was the 37th president of America and the only U.S. president in history to resign his office. His resignation was due to his involvement in the Watergate break-in and cover-up scandal. Richard Milhouse Nixon was born on January 9, 1913, in Yorba Linda, California. He was raised with his four brothers in a strict Quaker family who refrained from taking alcohol, dancing, and swearing. He came from a poor family but rose to the highest position in the land. He died on April 22, 1994, in New York. The career of Richard Nixon included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education at Whittier College and Duke University Law School. He became the 37th President of America in 1969 and served for five years until 1974. Richard Nixon married Thelma Patricia Catherine Ryan. They both enjoyed amateur dramatics and met while acting with the Whittier Community Players and married two years later. They had two children named Patricia and Julie. Richard Nixon belonged to the Republican political party. He was 56 years old when he was inaugurated as the 37th president. Spiro Agnew and Gerald Ford stood as vice presidents. Nixon announced his resignation on August 8, 1974. Richard Nixon was an imposing figure, standing at 6 feet 1 and a half inches and weighing 175 pounds. He had brown wavy hair, brown eyes, thick eyebrows, and a protruding jaw with sagging jowls. He was known for dressing in a conservative fashion, usually wearing dark suits. He was described as being calm, unscrupulous, and his method of attacking opponents was highly effective. He earned the nickname of Tricky Dick. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. During his presidency, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. Eighteen-year-olds got the right to vote, and the Environmental Protection Agency was created. The SALT Agreement was strategic arms limitation talks between Russia and the U.S. It consisted of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty and an interim agreement on the limitation of strategic offensive arms. His visit to China was an important step in formally normalizing relations between the two countries. His presidency was judged as a successful one until the Watergate scandal emerged. In June 1972, there was a break-in at the Watergate office complex in Washington, D.C., where the Democratic National Committee had a campaign office. Five men broke into the office in order to spy on Democratic campaigns. They were caught in the act, and investigations into the Nixon administration were launched by two Washington Post reporters named Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. A main source for the reporters was known by the nickname Deep Throat. It emerged that a $25,000 check, apparently meant for the Richard Nixon campaign, ended up in the bank account of a Watergate burglar. In October 1972, the Washington Post reported that the FBI believed the Watergate break-in was part of a political sabotage effort by the Nixon campaign. Nevertheless, Nixon was re-elected in a huge landslide in November. In January 1973, two Nixon aides, G. Gordon Liddy and James McCord, were convicted for their involvement in the Watergate burglary. The dismissal and resignation of other key White House staff followed. It then emerged that Nixon had taped all conversation in his office since 1971, but that he had ordered the microphones to be disconnected. On November 17, 1973, Richard Nixon declared his innocence in the Watergate scandal, saying, I am not a crook. In December, an 18-minute gap was found in one White House tape implicating the president. In July 1974, the House of Representatives passed first of three articles of impeachment, and the Supreme Court ordered the White House to hand over 64 tapes of conversations. The smoking gun tape, in which President Nixon and H.R. Haldeman discussed using the CIA to keep the FBI from investigating the Watergate break-in, was made public. Richard Nixon announced his resignation the next day, on August 8, 1974. The next U.S. president was Gerald Ford, who pardoned Richard Nixon, believing the nation did not need to endure a long and messy trial. Following his presidency, Richard Nixon wrote numerous books on his experiences in public life and on foreign policy. He died of paralysis due to a stroke and swelling of the brain on April 22, 1994, in New York. He was buried in Yorba Linda, California. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Richard Nixon. He was the only U.S. president in history to resign his office. His resignation was due to his involvement in the Watergate break-in and cover-up scandal. The next U.S. president was Gerald Ford. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents, together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast, dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.